In this PHP and JavaScript tutorial for beginners, I want to introduce new coders to the concept of searching for needle in a haystack. And we're going to do it in both PHP and JavaScript. So it's going to be like two lessons smashed into one. In this lesson, we're going to try something a little different. We're going to code line by line in PHP and JavaScript, both at the same time. That way everybody can see the logic in both technologies side by side. So fire up your favorite code editor and create a new example.php file. And remember the PHP code has to be tested on a PHP enabled server. So the first thing we'll do in our PHP is we're going to add the haystack, which is an array. And this array happens to have only four items in it. Now like I said, we'll go side by side. So let's go ahead into the JavaScript now and let's copy and paste that same line. Now to make this work for JavaScript, we simply remove the dollar sign and put bar space haystack is equal to, and let's just make this a basic JavaScript array with the square brackets around it. That way JavaScript creates an array object out of it. So now you have a PHP array object and a JavaScript array object. Now for those of you who don't know, array indexes the position of elements in the array start at zero. All arrays have a starting index position of zero. So for these arrays we have index positions of zero, one, two, and three. So we have four elements in the arrays, but the index positions are zero to three. Now in the PHP we're going to pop in our needle. And you can think of this just as the value that you want to search in that array for to make sure that it exists in that array. And you can do things in your code according to whether or not it exists in the array. So we're just going to search haystack for needle. Now let's take that variable and let's also make that in JavaScript. So we'll replace the dollar sign with a var, var needle equals pig. Now what we want to do is put in an if else condition statement. And this if else condition statement is using the array search function in PHP. And what array search returns is the index position where that value is found in the array. So pig we can see is going to be found at 0, 1, 2, an index position of 2 or a key of 2 in that array. So all we did is put an exclamation mark in front of the array search function and what that does is if the array search returns a null value then we're going to echo out that pig is not found in the PHP array. But if it's not a null value and array search returns an actual index position from that array, then we know that it was found in the PHP array at that index position. And you can make this index position where it's found into a variable, no problem. I'll show you how to do that a little later on. And that's basically it. That's all the logic that you need to search for a needle in a haystack searching for a value within an array. Now to do the same thing in JavaScript, it's very similar. We put an if else condition statement and what we're doing here, our expression is saying if the index of the haystack array where the needle is found is less than zero, then we're going to output that it, the needle is not found in the JavaScript array because the index of method returns the index position where the needle is found in the haystack. Now if it's not found in the haystack, it's going to return negative one. It returns a value of negative one if it's not found in the haystack. So our expression is set up to say if the index where it's found is less than zero, meaning negative one, then we're going to output that needle is not found in the array. Else that means it is found in the array because index of is returning an actual index position number to us in the array where the needle is found. So we know that we can output that needle is found in the array. And I'll put this one into a variable as well so you can see the actual index position, the number that it returns. Now let's just go up in between these two scripting tags and let's put an HR for horizontal rule just to put a line in between the, the two different output. Now let's run this on a PHP enabled server. Okay, when I run this on my PHP enabled server, I get the output from PHP saying pig found in the PHP array. Now in the JavaScript output, I get 
pig found in the JavaScript array. So now you effectively know how to search for needles in the haystack for both PHP and JavaScript. And sometimes you might need it in a PHP program and sometimes you might need it in your JavaScript program. Now what we have here is just searching for a needle in a haystack to see if it exists there. Now there might be an occasion where you want to remove or extract the needle from the haystack to where it doesn't exist in the haystack any longer. And we'll show you that right now. First before we do that let's go ahead and change this needle to cow. Let's give it a value of cow for both the JavaScript and the PHP. Now we can see that that doesn't exist within our haystack. So now we should get different output. Let's refresh the page or reload the document. And now we see cow not found in the PHP array. Cow not found in the JavaScript array. All right, so let's just change that back to pig. Now what we're going to do is create a variable from this returned value right above that if condition. So let's create a new variable. I'm going to call it index because that represents the index position for where that needle is found in the haystack. Because remember, array search the return value that you get from that function is the index position of where the needle lives in the haystack. That way needle, if it is found, will be extracted from the array and will no longer exist in the haystack. Now that we have the index position where the needle is found in the haystack, we can easily run some code here that will remove the needle from the haystack. So first I'm going to put in a break, that way new output is on a new line. And then I'm going to run the line that's going to actually remove the element from the array at its index position where it's found. You can do that using the unset function in PHP. Now the last thing we'll put in place is just for developer purposes so you can get some further output to show you what's going on. We're serializing the haystack so it prints as a string so you can see that the unset worked. And then you're also going to output the count of the haystack array because it starts at four elements and you'll see that it ends at three elements because where the needle is found, the needle is going to be removed out of the haystack using this one line of code. This line of code is just to show you things on the page for developer reasons. So let's save that. Okay, so now the output we get is first we get a two because we're echoing the index position where the needles found in the haystack. Then the next line of output is we get pig found in the PHP array and that's rendered in our if and else condition statement letting us know if it's found within the array. Then the next line is your serialized new array after we run the unset function to remove the needle from the haystack. And reading a serialized array is not very difficult. It has three elements in it then in between the curly braces are all the elements. So the index position for the first element is zero. The size is five because there's five characters for horse. The index position for the second element is one and its size is four because it's a string of goat. It's four characters. Then the next element index position of three has a size of seven because it's a string value of chicken. And that's all that's in the array are those three items after we use the unset function. Now let's make the same thing happen in JavaScript where we're going to remove the needle from the haystack just in case you guys need to do that one day. Now to mimic the same exact functionality that this line performed in PHP but instead in JavaScript we can use this line haystack.splice. So we use the splice method on the haystack array and we feed it two parameters the index position where we want to start the splicing and how many elements we want to splice out. So in this case we want to just splice out the one element which is the needle where it's found. And here we're just going to write the haystack array so we can actually view the array and we're going to write the haystack's length just like we did up here. Okay now when I look at the output that my program renders the value pig has been removed from both the PHP and the JavaScript arrays. So you can see the resulting JavaScript array is horse, goat, and chicken. It's only three elements now. The element that represented pig in the haystack was removed. And in PHP that's done using this line. And in JavaScript it's done using this line. 
So now you know how to not only search for needles in haystacks, you know how to pull them out. Now if I were making this a script that actually removed needles from the haystack, I would set it up a little bit different. I would take this unset function, control X, and I would put it up here in this else condition. Or actually I would just put it in the if condition and remove the else condition. So I'll have a couple of different code examples on the page. But just to show you real quick, you can remove the exclamation, remove the else, and then remove the not because you would know it is found there. And then you put your unset there. So if array search provides us with an index, which you can probably just use this index variable right there. So let's say if index, then we unset. So that's basically what it would look like. And you really wouldn't need any of this either. So that's a slimmed down version of removing needles from the haystack if they're found within the array. And like I said, I'll put different code examples on the page for the lesson code. And of course, the same would apply for your JavaScript. So if you were making this into a remove needle from the haystack script, you would take your haystack splice method, control X, and you put it in your if condition, control V, and remove all the output that we had in place just for developer reasons. And there you have it. Now all you have to do is change the expression here to say if haystack dot index of needle is greater than minus one. That means if it's at least zero, then you're going to splice that needle out of the haystack. And that's how you'd set it up for JavaScript for removing needles from a haystack. Okay, that concludes learning to search for needles in haystacks. And not only searching, but optionally removing as well for both PHP and the JavaScript technologies.